Wattube. My name is Sarah here at Every Little X Stitch. Welcome to my channel if you're just joining me for the first time. Um, I just wanted to take a special second here to thank everybody who has been subscribing and liking and commenting on my videos. You guys rock. I didn't really know what to expect when I started Wattube. It's getting a little bit more normal-ish feeling talking to my phone. Still weird, but it's cool that I actually have people interacting now and wanting to watch me. That's that's insane. That's so cool. You guys are awesome. Um, so today is Thursday, December 27th. I was going to do a video. Well, I, I try to do videos on Tuesday or Thursday. Obviously, Tuesday was Christmas, so it was crazy town. Um, I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas and got to spend time with loved ones and family and friends and got to do all the things that you wanted to do and just enjoyed your day. Um, it's insane that 2019 is almost upon us. It's crazy. Um, so our week was a little hectic, as I'm sure everybody's week was for Christmas. Um, everybody scrambles and tries to get everything ready and set for the day. So um, all, every time I do a video, my cats come out like they're like, who are you talking to? You're crazy. You're talking to yourself, aren't you? Again, <laughs> that's Eden. Um, so anyway, on the 23rd, I believe it was the 23rd. Or, or no, it was the 20, yes, it was the 23rd. On the 23rd, Yvette, my cat, my 14-year-old um, Siamese, she had a bunch of stuff going on. So I took her to the vet and um, she had, she ended up having an upper respiratory infection. I took her in because she had been acting kind of funky and she had a, a lot of coughing and a lot of sneezing and just like, full on like hacking, but not like she's like trying to hack up a hairball or anything, but like she just didn't sound good. So I took her in, she ended up having the um, upper respiratory infection. And so she's on antibiotics for that. And let me tell you, that's a joy, joy, giving those to her. Um, and she also, I mentioned the last time she was in, not this time, but the time before, that she's been limping quite a lot and just really favoring her front legs when she's walking. She kind of like jumps slash falls to her um she lands on her feet technically but she falls when she jumps all the time now like she's in pain she's just in pain all the time so she ended up getting a prescription for that so now she's on um she's on like kitty pain meds and the difference between what she was before and now is insane to me she's like moving around like she was her her little old self again and she sits she always sits all fancy so she was like fold your paws like this or she'll sit like you know all regal she's very regal and she's sitting like that again I don't remember the last time I saw her like that so that's really cool to see her feeling better um so that was right before Christmas then Christmas Eve we had my dad my brother my sister and my niece and nephew and my brother's girlfriend came over and we had a nice Christmas Eve it was craziness uh, the I burned my, my hand on a pan because I thought I had a hot pad on my hand and I didn't, so I picked it up right out of the oven with my bare hand after it was on the counter anyway. That wasn't fun. And then I had, I think, what was it, club soda? For, for whatever reason, it was in the garage and it just sprayed all over me. <sighs> yeah. So, but other than those things and just the craziness of trying to cook and get everything situated and everything out with food and everything it was it was a good day so that was fun um and then christmas we went to we had christmas here in the morning then we go to my mom's house then we go to my mother-in-law's house so that was fun um i did i did do a new start my my mail hill christmas village i started it on the 25th like i wanted to do i was i was shocked myself and i was actually watching michelle bandy's video and she's doing this you know her start apocalypse Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Michelle, you're a monster. You are a monster. Um, yeah, I would never be able to do that many starts in like that amount of time. That's insane to me. So cool. Uh, we all bow down to you. <laughs> um, awesome. But yeah, so I did do my mill hall start. So that, that was fun. And so anyway, let's get into the whips because I know that's what you guys are here for. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to try to do them in the order that I was stitching too, to try to try to keep on track a little bit, a little bit better organized. Um, so 
If you guys follow me on Instagram, which is the same name as my channel, Every Little X Stitch, uh, you will have seen my progress on this guy. So here's 12 Days of Christmas. Sorry about the glare. I have my, my chandelier is right behind me, so it's really hard to get the lighting just right. But anyway, I was doing a partridge in a pear tree. First one in the corner there. And you guys, I got some good progress on this. I was so pumped about this. So here's where I am. Look at that bird! I got the kind of focus. Maybe not. Um, so I got the bird. I got well, I did the A and all the beading there. And then that bird. Look at that little crest. It's so cute. I love it so much. I want to get back to this so so bad because I just was really, really enjoying it. I want to get the rest of that bird done because it really has, it went pretty quickly once I started getting into it. So I'm hoping that it will continue to go quickly. Um, it's a little bit uh, scattered with the, the stitching, but that's every chart to a degree, I suppose, unless you're doing just nothing but solid blocks. You're gonna have, you're gonna have the like, you know, a couple stitches here, a couple stitches there. Change your color, change your color, change your color. That's what drives me nutty, but I love it. So I'll put up with it. Um, next, I pulled out, I pulled out Athena, and, sorry you guys, I've been keeping them in the bags, like, I know Michelle does that too, and it's just easier for me, so I don't have everything that is chaos to clean when I'm done with the videos, because I see what you guys mean, like, the foster birds that are like, I have all this cleanup after the videos, I get it now, I, I get it, but anyway, so I worked on Athena, I pulled her out, I really just had a... I've been really wanting to work on her again. And I didn't do a ton. I did fill in this hole where you see the lighter gold color. I filled all that in, in that pillar. So that is filled in now. Um, and I don't want to move the Q-snap, so I'll probably focus up here and the, down here to where she is and the bottom of her dress here. Sorry about that light. Um, it's hard to hard to work with this lighting anyway and the owl I'm gonna do some more of the owl but I'm not at this whisper I don't love that whisper at all it's kind of the bane of my existence I was so excited to do it and I've never worked with whisper whisper before and once I started I was like Ugh, yeah I see what everybody means but anyway um yeah, I'm loving her but I, I don't want to move the Q snap because I do I do beat as I go and I'm gonna need to get another scroll rod to do her because the fabric when I got this fabric from 123 Stitch, it came way bigger than it was supposed to, um, which was their mistake. And I took it because, I mean, I've had my orders messed up before with 123 Stitch. And I'm not really complaining because, I mean, they're really the only place that I order from. I mean, they're not the only place, but they're the main place that I order from. So if I had to wait, like, one of the things that was a chart, I got something wrong chart, I was going to start that chart, then I couldn't, and I put it off quite a while, but anyway, I'm rambling now, but yeah, so this fabric is huge, it wasn't supposed to be this big, so I need to get a scroll rod, because the piece that I have on my scroll rod, I don't want to take it off, and I have a few pieces that I'm going to need, like I'm going to need to put my mill hell on a scroll rod eventually, um, my Christmas village and the 12 days of Christmas because there's beads in that and I like to beat as I go because I love the beading and it's easier for me to do the beading so that I don't have these like like gaps all over here where I feel like you know like there's tons of beads here and I get really I don't know I just more type A with that like I need it all this is done now check it off this is done now check it off so it's all solid and I can see where I'm going with it <clears throat> that was a really long rambled explanation of I beat as I go. Anyway, okay, next. So, Christmas Eve, I worked on um, December from the Carpet Collection. And I'll show that in case people haven't seen that. I know I've showed it every time, but I don't know. People seem to show them every time, right? So, here's where I am with, well, I'm on letter C. So, here's where I am on the fabric. I got some more done. I finished, I didn't give this one as much attention because I was working on the 12 days and I was loving that, but here's where I got. I'll fold that so the light doesn't go through it. 
Um, so I got to the C, letter C there. I finished the C off. And then I started on, I think that that is a little church. It's a little church. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a church. It's got some really fun little trees that are down here that I would love to start. Trees on either side, like little, like little pine trees. But yep, that's where I am with that. I'm loving this one more and more as it comes along. So that's that was a fun one. That was a fun one to do. Okay, then next. Here is, I don't have a huge start on this, but that's okay. Um, but this is my 12 Days of Christmas. All right, no, not my 12 Days of Christmas. This is my Mill Hill Christmas Village. And the one that I started with, hold that up for you guys so you can see that. I started with, I asked my son, Ethan, I let him pick which one I was going to start with. So he picked Queen Anne House, which is one of my favorites. I just love that house. You guys, my dream house is to live in a super old, old Victorian house. I just love them. So that's why I picked that one. Um, but here's where I am with that. Hopefully the fabric doesn't shine straight through. I'm doing this on 28 count Stormy Gray by Picture This Plus. And the very top here, if you can see that, that's the snow. I don't know if I'm going to keep that snow. I might take that out. I, I wanted to put it in just so that I could get a start from, I like starting from the top left corner, just like if you were to read and go that way. I just, it gets confusing to me to, I always seem to have to frog if I start from the bottom or the bottom right, especially, or, you know, I, I start in the middle otherwise if I can, but I, I hate stitching upwards. I, I don't like it. it. Drives me bonkers. But it, yeah, I might take out that snow there. You can see a little bit better. I might take out that snow. I just wanted it there to kind of frame the piece for me. These aren't that big. I thought I was expecting it to go a little further. And then I was second guessing myself about the way that I measured this fabric for the pieces. I think it'll work out fine. But here's the roof of the house. There's two here. Um, I might take that snow out, but I do like the snow, so the little snowflakes. So I think what I'll do is once they're all stitched along, I'll kind of probably go back and add in, you know, kind of more random, not so so precise. Like, I don't want it to look framed. I just want it to look like there's snow falling is all. Well. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. Okay, and then the next one I worked on, on the 26th. So again, the unicorn that I was doing for, that I am doing from my daughter Colette, um, I'm adopting the Stitching Mommy, Sarah the Stitching Mommy's idea of um, working on, if you're doing like for your kids to work on it for the day of the month that they are, that their birthday is. So Ethan's is January 26th, so I worked on it on December 26th. Um, than this to show you guys. I didn't work on this for a really long time because the pattern, I'm not a fan of this pattern. It's in color, which I don't love. It Well, it's in color and it's in black and white, but, but it, the pat, the um, symbols are so similar to each other. There's no way you can do the black and white. There's just no way, but this isn't a great picture of it, but this is what it is. It's Spider-Man. He loves Spider-Man. It's his favorite superhero. So I'm about here in the middle where his abs are. So here's where I am. Um, there's the black. And last night I did this black here. And then I worked this little, this blue part, black here, this blue part, black here, more blue. And I did this where his belt is. So he's going to have a little spider in there. And this is actually, it's going quickly. I just, I don't know. The colors aren't really, they're not really my thing. So this is a, it's a slower one for me to work on simply because I'm not, you know, really loving it. I don't, I don't like saying that because it's for him, but I'm just being honest. It's not my favorite thing to work on. I really like the unicorn because I love unicorns, but Spider-Man, I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the chart too. I, focus. There we go. Maybe it's the chart, but I don't know. It's just 
it's frustrating to do. And the fact too that I had to frog literally the entire thing and start over. So that's another frustration for me. Um, I already stitched all this. Well, not here. And not some of this up here, but I stitched all this and I had to restitch it. And if it were more, I don't know, if the colors were more very, if it had more variation in color. This pattern only has one, two, three, five colors, six colors at the most. Two reds, a blue, a black, a white. I think that's it. There's not much to it. So it's simple, but that's okay because superheroes aren't super like. It's not like they have 30 colors in their costume, right? Whatever, I guess. Um, okay, then, I guess I'll do um, haul, and I wanted to show you guys, I got a Christmas card from Jen Upton. Thank you, Jen. How cute is that? That was totally unexpected. My first stitchy mail ever. Cool. Awesome, right? So cool. So thank you. And she wrote a really sweet message inside too. So I love that. Thank you so much, Jen. Very cool. Okay, then um, I'm going to do haul. So I'm going to show you guys. Well, I'll show you this one first. I just got this in the mail. So I didn't, I opened the package, but I didn't open the actual bag that it's in. So this is uh, one of the, there was three more that I was waiting. Ooh, I like those. There was three more that I was waiting on, and this is one of them. So I have two more coming. I believe they are two ele yeah, they're two elephants for sure. So this is a peacock, another peacock. The other, it was, the other one is very similar to this, but they are different. And what I was feeling it on about was these, these rhinestone. I don't know if these are the AV ones, but these, look at those guys. How pretty are those? You guys see them? I should open this up and show you without the packaging. I'll do that later. One of these days when I go to do it. So pretty. I think these are AB. They look kind of like limestone too. The bottom is like that. I can't tell, but they're really pretty. I love them. So, so I, I'm looking forward to doing that one. And this is too, this is just a partial, so it shouldn't take a really long time to do. It should go quick. Um, then, kind of a little bit off of, it's not totally stitching related, but it, it is stitching related to me too because I try to keep track of what I've been stitching. So I can kind of get an idea of how many days it takes me to stitch stuff. I was, I was um, keeping a little tiny calendar, like... You know, the really little ones you can get in like the little books that are uh, they just have the month and then a square for each day of the month and what I was doing with that was writing in that and I was really good about that but the problem that I had with it was I was putting it in bag bag to bag so I work on different projects a lot and I was jumping around that I would lose where it was and I totally forget about it because it wasn't part of my routine but I got another this is I've I've bought Ian Condren um, planners for a long time. I'm just going to cover up my, my last name here. But so I got a new Ian Condren planner, and this came uh, a few days ago. So I am excited about doing this. I have, um, I know I just showed it, whatever. But I've been a loyal Ian Condren user for a long time, um, for several years now four, five, maybe six years, I don't know. I actually have an Etsy shop um, where, I, where I sell like custom made planner stickers, but since I've had Aurora, she will be two in April. Oh, Michelle, I was gonna tell you, um, when she was doing one of her videos I was watching, she started her uh, floss tube, I think this was your start date, I think, but she said April 12th, 2017, that's Aurora's birthday. So she's about 20 months old or so. Um, so close to two, but um, I don't know where that was going. It just made me think of that for something, timing. I don't know. Scattered brains. But anyway, um, I've been in my planner, in my everyday planner, I've been kind of keeping track of the projects that I work on there, and it's a lot easier for me to do it in my Erin Condren versus an extra planner because it's not, you know, a day-to-day -day thing. But um, anyway, yeah, so that's that. So I got that. So that's stitchy related to me. 
Um, but the other, so my stitchy stuff from my dad. So I told you, you guys I was getting stitchy stuff from my dad. Um, so I got some these out here. So, um, the first thing I'll show you guys is this is from, I've never bought these, so this is new for me. Um, Sam Sarah Design Studio Inc. So I got three charts. Um, the first one is March. And it looks like this. And it's a little calendar. And I saw this when I was, I told you guys, and I think it was in my last video, that I, I lost my wish list. So I went to go make another wish list. And then it became exponentially larger. So this was one of the things that I thought that was really cool. So you can stitch, you know, you flip the day every day. And so you're seeing some different stitching in some way. So that's fun. So this is March. And then I got August, and this is what the rest of the sun looks like. So that one's fun. And you have to buy them all. You can't like only buy the ones you like and make it work because they all have different, like this one has the zero and the, the one. I think they showed a one or something. No, this is the one. So the one, the zero, and then you get this. This is my favorite one, this Halloween one. And then there's the witch hat and the pumpkin. Super cute. And then I got all the... So on one, two, three stitch, they usually are pretty good about showing you what the supplies that you need for that pro for that project, right? So I got all the classic color works that were in the recommended ones that they wanted. But then when I got the chart, I can't show you guys that. Well, I, I guess I could... I can show you this part to cover it. So what they actually stitched it with is from three different sets. So there's Crescent Color Works, or Crescent Colors, there's Gentle Art, and there's Weak Star Works. So they're actually in bold, the ones that they actually use. So I don't really understand why they had the whole list of um, Classic Color Works under there, because they didn't use all Classic Color Works. But I'm using them because I bought them. This is, see, this is why it's frustrating to not have a stitchy store by me in LF and, and, and any shape. So that, that's those. And to go with those, I got the perforated paper to start. And I, I hope that these will be fast stitches. We'll see. Um, and then I'm going to get the little, I don't know if those are card, card stock or cardboard or what those are. But the little tags that they go on, I'll get those later on once I have a couple stitched up and then I got um, from the drawn thread I got the mini months pocket calendar cover this is October and I thought that was cute it was on clearance so it was only I think like $4.79 I wanted to get it while it was still available to purchase I am I'm gonna do the reason I am doing like the a lot of months and seasons I have a plan for that um, for I don't know where in my house I want to do it, but I have a plan for that, so I'm doing it for a reason. I'm not just, like, obsessed with stitching only that. But I do like seasonal stitching. I do like that. Um, anyway, I and then I got this is from Aunt, Mar yeah, Aunt Martha's, and this is a peacock, and I thought that was so pretty. And I, I did mention I do embroidery, so I thought that that would be a really pretty one to do. I've never seen anything like that with embroidery, so that was fun, at least... The stuff I've looked at anyway. And then I got four of the Lily Violet, Violet. I got August. So what I'm doing, this is the next series that I mentioned to you guys before that I'm doing after I do the Cricut collection. And um, so the, these are some of the months I'm totally done with, with the Cricut collection. So August, I have that, I'm done with. Um, July, I'm done with. May. I love this one. There's roses like growing all over the brick of the house. It's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can really see that well. And then I got February because I'm nearly done with February from the Cricut collection. And then I most likely will start this one next year, um, right after I'm done with the other one. So that's those. And I am going to do what um, Priscilla and Chelsea do. I need to find a frame. I need to go thrifting. I need to find a frame that's long enough for the seasons and for the, the longest month and the longest season of the Cricut collection. And then I'm going to do, 
I don't know, like sticky board, I guess, and then do a fabric around the whole thing and then just switch it out every month and every season so that I only have two frames instead of 12, 16 frames. That doesn't make sense to me. So I like the idea that they just switch it and they use magnets and switch it every month. I think that that's a really cost-effective way to do it, right? Okay, so, oh, no, sorry, I'm like throwing it over here. I did have two more things, just two more things to show you. Um, these are from the Holiday Harmony, Harmony Collection, and they're all a bunch of little, well, actually, I think there's tons of them. But anyway, the ones I got so far are the harp. There, sorry for the glare. And then uh, I got the violin, which this one's my favorite one. Um, these are so cute. I'm just gonna try to take it out, but I think everything's gonna spill along with it. But this is my favorite one. I always wanted to learn to play the violin. I think it's just the prettiest instrument ever. Um, what else? I think that's, oh, no, no, I have one more thing. One more thing for haul to show you guys. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen this. I got a Lowry stand. And it came on Christmas Eve. I was shocked. I wasn't expecting this until like late. Not late, but like into January. So here's the box. It's upside down. Here's the box that it came in. I barely got this thing out of there. It was so hard to get out. But this came from um, the website Lowry. I don't know if it's like Lowry. I think it's Lowry Needleworks. Needleworkstand.com, I think is where I went in mine. And I got the, okay, per Gerald, Ginger Gerald's recommendation. I'm going to just show you guys. This is really high quality stuff. So it, it comes with its own um, really nice Allen wrench for adjust or for tightening the bottom piece anyway. Um, but I got, this is the, the arm bar that came with it. And um, Gerald recommended, well, he just said if you think you might need it, order it. So I went off of his recommendation. And I'm so glad I did because when I watched his video originally on the setup and the way that he does everything with his Lowry stand, um, I, didn't even, I did not even think about the fact that I would need a longer arm bar. And I got it, and I'm so glad I did for one of two reasons. One, it was the the arm bar itself itself was, I think, I want to say it was like twenty three dollars, maybe twenty four dollars, something like that. It wasn't bad at all. And if I wanted to order that from Amazon, I want to say it's closer to forty. Um, don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. And I also ordered the, um, oh, I don't know what it's called, but here's mine. Mine is pink, obviously, you guys aren't, no, you can see, <laughs> but um, this is the, the attachment here. I can't remember what it's called, but I got this, um, and then there's the bottom of it, so mine's pink. Um, this guy right here, you put your flame in, so it works great for like scroll rods too to kind of counterbalance that weight in there because otherwise you're going to have it really... Um, top heavy on the one end and you're going to have tipping and you're going to have strain on your, I would imagine you have strain to some degree on your scroll rod too, which is probably not something that people want. I know I don't. So, um, so I did get that. I got the long one versus the shorter one because it, to me, it made sense and I could always go, you know, smaller, but then if you needed a bigger one, you need to order another one. But this one I know for sure, at least from one I have searched on Amazon, this was $25 from the website. I'm talking about the attachment piece right now. Um, and it's $38 on Amazon. So that was a no brainer to me to just get it from the company itself so that I didn't have to pay that extra little bit. Um, it was pricey, but I'm, I'm really glad that I finally just kind of bit the bullet and got it uh, because I've been having a lot of wrist pain uh, from holding the frame and the, I, I hold it like really funky, like, like, like this almost. And then I use, um, my left hand a lot of the time. I use either a laying tool, but I use my finger. I really use my pointer finger. More, more often than not, I use it as a laying tool. So I hold it really weird, the frame itself. So if I'm sitting here stitching, like I'll show you guys what I do. So if I'm sitting here stitching, I'll hold it like this, but then I'll be down here with my finger while I'm holding this. 
So I hold it at the same time and it's been driving me nuts and then I've been getting wrist pain again. And when I used to do a lot of embroidery, I got just this insane amount of wrist pain constantly, this cramping in, in my wrist and it, I stopped sewing for a long time because of that. And I don't want to have that happen again. So I switched to Q-snaps. I used to only stitch on hoops way back in the day when Q-snaps were not in existence. I like the Q-snaps a lot better now, but now I've started to get the pain again, which is, that's not fun. So anyway, yeah, that's part of the reason that I got the stand in the first place. Um, okay, then plans, we'll, we'll talk plans. I'm not gonna go over every single thing that I'm gonna stitch in 2019, but I'll just show you guys a handful of things that I'm gonna plan on working on. So, um, for next week, I, sorry, my camera's going in and out a little bit crazy though. So next, next week, I'm gonna go back to this. I already started this one last year. Um, so this is, uh, I guess I'll show you the picture if you've not seen it. So this is January from the Cricut Collection. If it wants to focus, maybe not. Um, but here's that piece. I do have uh, the first, almost the first three letters. I loved this one. This one's got some Krennic in the little star here, and then this, I don't remember what that little motif is. Oh, it's a clock. It's a clock. Um, so that's where I left off, so I have to do the rest of the A and the J, and then I'll go back that way. I try to, when I stitch, I mentioned how, you know, I don't like stitching this way. So I'm gonna finish off going this way, and then I can go back again. Because this was a bigger one, so I couldn't start on the far end at the beginning of the word like I like to do. I started in the middle because I was worried about the fabric, you know, being long enough and landing in the right place and everything. So that's January. I'm going to go back to that. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do the rest of the Cricut collection, the ones that I don't have finished entirely. I want to finish off in 19. And like I said, I want to start the new series by Lily Violette. And I'll be working on that. Um, then I have, I know Stephanie did this, so here's February. This one's almost done. I only have A, R, and Y, so this will definitely be done this year. I say that, I probably shouldn't say that right in case something comes up, but um, that's why I bought February because I plan on for sure getting done with that. And these, by the way, these are all done on 28 count. Um, I hand dyed this fabric myself. I couldn't tell you what I what the dye I used anymore was because I do not remember. Um, same thing with January's. I hand dyed this myself. Um, I just use Ret dye for my dyeing purposes. So there's that. Anytime I dye my fabric, it's either coffee tea dye or it's red dye. Um, then next, oh, I I talked to you guys last week about which uh, mirror really I was gonna do. And I don't remember your name, sorry, but somebody had recommended to do the wheel, spin the wheel, and I did do that. And three times in a row, I got Persephone. So I thought about doing her. Um, I'm not going to do her, and the reason I'm not going to do her is because she is a really big one compared to a couple of the other ones I have. And I wanted to do something a little bit on the smaller scale. And also, I've been dying to do her anyway, so I'm going to go with Adia. And that's her. Um, sorry about this glare, you guys. I cannot figure out this lighting thing for the life of me. But anyway, I'm gonna do a dia. And I had the people that did rec uh, that did you know list what they wanted to do, like Belinda from an inch an itch to stitch. And um, I don't know the other person's name, but they both both of the people that you know said a specific one did say a dia. So I'm gonna do a dia. I'm really. I'm looking forward to stitching her so much. I love her. And speaking of Belinda, so we were talking over Instagram just yesterday. Um, she got, for Christmas, she got this lovely lady, Renaissance Mermaid. And um, she she mentioned, let's, uh, we can, I can join her in stitching. So I'm definitely gonna do that and I'm really, really looking forward to that Belinda. That's gonna be so fun. Um, so we're doing Renaissance Mermaid in June. Her birthday is in June, so she's gonna, I don't know if that ever focused for you guys. So her birthday is in June, and we're gonna do her as a June start. And I need to get, I have the floss for her, 
but we both need to get fabric and I need to get her all of her beads and all of her kind of she has a whole bunch of Magnifica beads so that's that is exciting because I have Magnifica beads in some of the other mirrors but this one is by far the most amount I think I want to say it's six packages of Magnifica beads maybe seven plus regular beads too so we're stitching her this year next year and then um I did I did say the Cricut collection once and then this is another one. This is by I don't know if this is how you say it, but Passio uh Passion Recamo. And I'm gonna be stitching her. You guys, this is okay, I'll show you the I'm not gonna show you the chart, but I'm gonna show you the cat's going muddy. Um this is how thick this is. It's like a book. A book. This is the chart. For this this lovely lady here so this is prosperity fairy hey how do you say that that's an italian clearly an italian designer she is just oh, she's beautiful she's just beautiful she's got a ton of credit or not credit um petite treasure braid and then she has I'm trying to find the yeah right here okay so she's got She's got six cards of Petite Treasure Braid, and then I believe I want to say it's like 20 packages. Could be wrong, but when I counted them before... Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. That's wrong. And then she's got Mill Hill Beads, too. She's got two packs of Mill Hill Beads, and then she has one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven cards of Petite Treasure Braid. She's so sparkly. I'm trying to figure out a fabric to stitch around. I think I'm gonna go with a blue. I think. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to keep it Christmassy, but it's hard to find a fabric for this because I don't. I don't like the fabric that she stitched on at all. I think she doesn't. It doesn't complement her well, in my opinion, anyway. So I want to find something, and I. I was using the Viewer, um, which is a website that somebody created where you can enter your pattern and it, it does have a little bit limited um availability for patterns like what's on the website right now and it's a lady that you know she does it herself so i totally understand it but then she has fabrics from different designers um that you can you know pair it with and i did i think i found one it's on the one we use is by fabrics by stephanie i want to say it's frozen fractures could be wrong now because I've been using it a lot lately. Um, Belinda, that's where I went for to search for a fabric for her because I don't have an LNS, so I'm relying on the viewer and I'm hoping that it does me good. Um, but anyway, those are and this is going to be more of like a Christmassy start for me, so I won't be starting her for a long time yet. But those are plans, and these are the colors for her. There's a lot of white. A lot of white and a lot of red, but aren't they beautiful? I love them. So 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 pretty. So that's that's plans that I have. Um, I'm just looking at my notes. I, have, I wrote notes this time. So yeah, that's what I have planned for next year. Um, try to make it work. Try to do as many as much as I want or as much as I can. I want to stitch all the things. I want to stitch all the time, but I don't get all the time to stitch. So I'm trying to devote all the time that I have that's free to stitching as much as I can because I just love it. But yeah, I will see you guys next week. Hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.